defender, Damian Slaughter. At shooting guard, Jim McKinney. At power forward, Christian Lane. At the other forward, Peter Hodges. At the other guard position, performance was shaky at best. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard for it as they should have. The Pistons shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And they shot the ball well this season and, and in terms of their attempts, 81%. The goal tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. Yeah, it's got to be concerned with all the missed shots here. How a timeout goal by Brooklyn. Yeah, can't be pleased with all these easy Let's looks. Let's see how they performed over the last month in the NBA league rankings. Second. Now for him. That's his first personal foul. The Nets have gone two for two in the game at the line. Rogers. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Free throw is good for Roger. Actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. The Pistons have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. Rogers. 
just giving up way too many transition opportunities. You know, it's okay to give up a few if you're getting them back on the other end, but that hasn't been the case here. The Pistons shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. One shot. One shot, Kevin. And that one misses. For Brooklyn, they have had all four of their chances so far in this one. Taking two shots. Free throw good by Curry. throws good for Curry Drew on the contact so a free throw coming up a great opportunity for a three-point play we're not shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one that's a great job getting to the line here too The Nets have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Shots good from the strike. It's on top, delivering the blowouts. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We welcome you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. From the get-go, it was Detroit who came out strong. They had great chemistry early on, both offensively and defensively, stringing together an impressive eight to nothing run to jump on top early. They came on extremely strong as the quarter was winding down, nailing all six of their last field goal attempts to close out the first. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play, helped them take a decisive advantage and they're running away with this one. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? They've done a lot of things well, but the way they've taken care of the basketball, valuing each possession so critical to the tempo, so crucial to the offensive flow. They've got a great rhythm, as smart and as safe as they're playing. They made it clear they're not going to beat themselves today. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Nets. Barbecue chicken, they were completely overmatched in the low post. I couldn't believe the amount of points they allowed in the paint. Wow, I thought I was out there scoring, playing basketball. They gotta switch things up, get some different matchups because they are getting eaten alive. Barbecue chicken. That does it for halftime as the game is just about set to uh, get going again. We send you back to Kevin Harlan and crew for the third quarter. <laughs> 